All right, guys, good afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> Chuck Mitchell back with you again. We're going to be doing a uh, quick little, uh, hopefully a quick install of these uh, Healy bars on the uh, Hayabusa here. Okay. Uh, they're basically meant to uh, raise the stock handlebar height up uh, about an inch and a quarter uh, and push them back just a little bit to give you a little bit more upright seating position, which uh, I personally uh, am kind of looking forward to. So. Um, this bike can get a little bit uncomfortable on longer, uh, longer rides, so uh, we'll see what happens. It does come with these directions here, like I just showed you, and then uh, what we're looking at here, it's basically just a piece of aluminum here, CNC'd up to uh, fit in the stock location, so it shouldn't be too terrible. However, one thing you will need to realize if you're not uh, mechanically inclined is on the bar ends here you've got these two pieces that fit right in here I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up but uh, right in here is where this piece sits I'll put it back in there for a second but so you got to take that out okay because in here you got your heck your allen key that you're gonna need to uh, remove the bar end here so since what we have to do per the instructions take both bar ends off take your grip off this piece slides off uh, you have to also have an eight, eight millimeter uh, socket to uh, get the uh, brake and the uh, master cylinder off on both sides and then the uh, the bar should just slide out so uh, we'll see how it goes uh, and we'll go from there all right guys so uh, usually as always coming apart easier than going together but we'll find out shortly so I do have the right side bar off okay here's the original flat bar here okay fairly fairly uh, easy to do um, and I'm doing this video guys because I didn't see any other Hayabusa um, or at least Gen 2 uh, Healy bar videos on YouTube so hopefully it helps somebody because I'm kind of running in the dark here but it is what it is uh, so you got to take your master cylinder and your brake uh, brake lever off two little eight, eight millimeter bolts there and then there's two Phillips screws that hold the throttle linkage on the uh, on the bar uh, you don't have to take them all the way off just loosen them up so you can get this housing uh, kind of wiggly and loose like that and then uh, there's two right here uh, two uh, another more another uh, these are five millimeter um, hex bolts just like what was on the bar end here that threads into the, the back here so um, Gonna try and go back together here, guys, and we'll uh, get back with you shortly. It looks fairly, fairly simple, but sometimes looks looks can be deceiving. All right, guys. So I am glad I decided to make this video because it uh, I fought for about 15 minutes or so, <clears throat> and this is not in the instructions. I don't believe. Let me make sure before I make an ass out of myself. Oh yeah, nope, totally made an ass out of myself. So make sure you read the directions here. You've got a left bar and a right bar, okay? And they're going to be labeled right here. Let's see if we can focus. It says left, okay? So I fought for about 10 minutes trying to get the left bar, or the, yeah, the left bar on the right side. So don't do that, okay? Um, however, one thing that you need to also note, um, in order for the throttle to work properly, I'm guessing the throttle is the same on most all bikes here, is that uh, there's a pin on the bottom half here and it goes into this hole. Now obviously this particular one's the left side, so this uh, linkage right here is gonna be fitting into that, okay? So just be sure you guys read the fucking directions. But uh, anyway, throttle moves freely, everything's good. Got that back on, got the brakes back on. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit of adjusting here um, once I get the second one on. It's, uh, it's just kinda user, you know, uh, whatever your preference is. Uh, but do make sure because when you put the the brake cylinder back on you can't get to these bolts back here So make sure the bars are nice and tight when you uh, put the brake cylinder back on and uh, So I'm gonna try I'm gonna get the It's gonna be interesting trying to get this grip off. Um, we're gonna try and knock that out, but it shouldn't be too terrible So uh, bear with me guys, but I wanted to get in here real quick and give you that little bit of information very important uh, and also that way your throttle doesn't doesn't move around okay like I said that that uh, that locator pin ensures that it stays right there then you tighten it back down and then uh, 
and it should work. So I did have to take my throttle lock off. Um, I'm going to have to re-rotate it. This, uh, this top part right here was, uh, was hitting the, the windshield, uh, along with the fact that the, uh, the original, uh, friction pad, uh, has seen better days. So I'm gonna have to send that back down, put a new pad on it. So I'll do that afterwards. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna get back to it and get back with you shortly. All right, guys, <clears throat> got the, uh, left side bar off. Glue wasn't too bad to overcome. Um, much easier than the, than the first side. Here's that pin I was talking about. It looks the same on the other side, okay? Uh, but this pin has to line up with that hole right there, or you're gonna be pissed off and screaming all day. So just to ensure that when you do it, you watch for that pin. So uh, it should be a pretty quick reinstall here. I'm gonna get, get back to work, but we got that particular one off. We're gonna put the new one on. All right, guys. So we got her done. wasn't too bad on this uh, on this left side here. Um, no real pointers for that side. Just like I said, watch out for that. Uh, watch out for that pin underneath there. Um, as far as how the bike feels, um, I can definitely tell a difference um, in the height. I can sit up more upright and actually reach the bars, which I guess is the the obvious uh, goal here. But uh, so yeah, like I said, the throttle works good full range of motion uh, I am gonna put my th throttle lock back on here later but um, maybe a separate video we can do a quick video for that too uh, but yeah just make sure when you put everything back together guys it's nice and tight uh, make sure it feels good um, one thing that was interesting that I saw um, if you see here try and, this is pushed out a little ways on the right side okay where this one here is flush Okay. Now, I tried to get them both uh, the same. However, um, the locking bolts, which is going to be this, the first locking bolt is going to be the one closest to the bar end here. Um, it won't let you do it on this left side. So um, that's just kind of how it is, I guess. And obviously, this this one here might be a machining issue, or it might be designed that way. I'm not sure. Um, but they both feel good. They're both, uh, like I said. Um, Everything works well. Um, I haven't started the bike yet, but I shouldn't need to. Uh, it should be fine. And uh, but yeah, it's uh, all of the. Uh, just make sure your levers line up with what's comfortable for you, and uh, that's pretty much the the skinny of it, guys. Uh, this is about 150 bucks from uh, Healy Bars, and of course, if you end up not liking them, oops, um, you can obviously put your stock bars back on, but. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, and once again, make sure you read the directions or you end up like a dummy like me. But uh, I guess there's only one way to learn for me, and that's uh, by doing and failing. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll give you another video on that uh, throttle lock install. I gotta, um, I gotta sand it down a little bit more so the uh, super glue and everything holds on there. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you again next time. And guys, quick little update. We're going to put the throttle lock back on real quick. Uh, it's not that difficult. Atlas actually makes a video um, kind of showing you what's going on. But anyway, it's a two-piece part here. Underneath, there's this little clamp. And then uh, it, it uh, grabs these. There's, there's a few teeth in here. Okay. And then uh, there's a little screw that goes on right here. I know it looks kind of loose and kind of loosey-goosey. But uh, you don't want it super tight or the throttle won't work. You just want it tight enough to where it, uh, it can grab on. And I went ahead and super glued a new pad onto it, so. Um, so I won't do a separate video for that, but I also had to real realign it due to the clearance issue. But uh, looks like it'll work out all right. So I'm gonna take it out for a romp here shortly and make sure everything's good and go from there. So thanks for watching and uh, we will uh, see you on the next project.